we have a manager who's already been hired. Amazing. It is amazing because yeah, that's this happened way faster than I ever would imagine. But Bruce Bochy has been hired by the Texas Rangers to come in and manage that mess. Um, it's a huge mess. They they signed him to a three year deal, which is pretty good. Um, I feel like gives him enough time to come in and kind of get things right next year, and then maybe potentially make a run in the next two years after that because they have a ton of talent on that team. They do. It's going to be heavily dependent on how he does managing the talent and what other resources they can provide him to back it up. And the resources he needs to back it up is the pitching because they don't have it. Well, and I want to see what happens developmentally, like down the line with the farm system. It's not just who's in their system right now, because if he's there for three years, it's going to come down to, you know, who they're feeding him in the pipeline and how they're managing trades and different things like that. Like that, I'm I'm concerned about that as much as I'm concerned about his on-field performance with the current roster. Well, because I mean, with the with the current on-field roster, you've got Corey Seager, Marcus Simeon, Adolis Garcia, and I feel like Jonah Heim is an underrated catcher. That dude is is. I don't want to say really good, but he's good. He's a good catcher. He's solid. Yeah. You know, and I don't but know. But is I... there somebody in the farm system better? And now now that we've seen Jeremy Pena just totally demolish Carlos Correa's legacy in one <laughs> postseason run, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, well, who else is sitting there waiting in the wings, you know? So <laughs> yeah. it's it it feels I don't know, this is a little bit like of an embarrassment of of riches, I guess. And as a Yankees fan, I can say that to kind of quell my morning just a little bit, but I feel like, um, but I feel like there's a lot of young talent coming up and good enough. Isn't good enough anymore. Yeah, I could see that. That makes sense. Yeah. Adley Rutschman's a great example. Gunner. Uh, what is it? Henderson. Gunner Henderson's a great example, Uh both in Baltimore. Um, So I don't know, man. I think Quan showed us that. The entire Cleveland staff showed us that this season. We got to see well, it in. I feel Houston like the big thing well. that Cleveland showed us this year was that you don't have to be a great team if you have great pitching. Yeah, and it can be good enough to get you into the playoffs, get you through the wild card. Um. Yeah, but the know. LA had great pitching and didn't didn't advance well it's because they basically advanced past the wild card great pitching alone doesn't get you past the the division exactly it doesn't same with uh and then if your pitching falls apart even if they're great they still have to perform the postseason that's what the Mets showed us this year Mm -hmm. yeah I'm still hurting (laughs) (laughs) but I'm a little bit angry (laughs) So Bruce Bochy is going to be around for three years uh, with the Texas Rangers. Uh, for those of you who have not been keeping up on Bruce Bochy, I am a Bruce Bochy aficionado. So not really. No, no, but he has been coaching the French national team, which I think is for real. So interesting. Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. So interesting that that's, that's that is like what he's been up to. I don't know. Well, Cause he was with the giants before, right? Yeah, first he was he was with the Padres, then he was with the Giants. Retired, yeah. decided to go to I guess spend time in the French Riviera, something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's how he ended up with, with the French national team, and now he's smart back with dude. The Rangers. I can think of worse ways to spend your retirement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> and je parle a little bit, so you know I could do that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no I used to parlay a whole lot. You did parlay a whole lot. You're right. I, I did parlay a whole that lot. Much. Yeah, you know it. 